up everyone it is your girl jlp87 here aka grace and it's time to try some new makeup girl so i got some new stuff as usual y'all know i be living with some new stuff let me put the hair back because i know i gotta put on some makeup so i got oh no but say no necklace you can't go in the, the um ponytail so i got the new light reflecting under eye brightener from nars then i got um a few new blushes i got all the l'oreal blushes sorry i've got my hand holding them you can't see it but yeah i got all four l'oreal blushes because they had buy one get one 50 percent off at ulta look at god and then i got um a few lifted glosses they sent me a double of the shade sweet like sweetheart instead of sending me the last shade they were supposed to send me but they said they were gonna fix it and they're supposed to be sending me the other shade tomorrow so i'm gonna have one of these to put in my um giveaway for my birthday or if i get to 2500 but whichever one comes first so i got these so i got a few new things to try out i have some blushes to compare to these l'oreal blushes too when we get there but um let's zoom in real quick and cute like and um talk about this nars under eye brightener what i put it so i brought the concealer too just so we could get an idea of what the difference in the shades is y'all know i should wear the shade almond and i got to say sunrise in the eye brightener so it's the darkest shade that they have it's medium to deep sorry it's medium deep to deep so as you can see they're in different packaging and this one is actually glass if you can't tell this one is plastic this one is glass so then step through their game try to be bougie and whatnot and that's what it looks like on the inside so it's actually darker than i expected it to be I, something told me to get the medium deep well sorry something told me to get yeah shade medium deep magic hour but i got this one instead this should be safe because i was like i can have a summer color corrector Plus, I'm going to see how deep the deepest shade really was. Because y'all know they be playing with the bronzer. So, I was like, maybe they playing with this too. I don't know. Um, anyway, here's my concealer shade. So, I feel like my concealer shade is lighter than... As you can see, I've been using this quite a bit. My concealer shade is lighter than that is. We're not going to put the concealer on today. Obviously, we're just going to do this brightener. So, let's read what the brightener has to say. It says, an advanced makeup skincare hybrid formula that illuminates the under eye area by darkening dark circles and dullness for brightness that lasts up to 24 hours the coverage is medium the finish is radiant the formulation is cream it says it has chromatic pearls a blend of reflective minerals with prismatic luster that brighten the under eye area and reduce the look of fine lines and then it says it has hydromatic filling spheres which moisture locking micro fears hydrate while plumping and smoothing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and then there's a biden's pelosa extract of botanical ingredient known for its anti-aging benefits including improving skin elasticity and strengthening skin barriers so this is supposed to do all that this brightener is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid that illuminates and invigorates the under eye area with brightness that lasts up to 24 hours it is a long wearing crease resistant formula that targets dark circles and dullness with skin loving ingredients helping improve skin elasticity elasticity support skin barrier and lock in moisture so we'll see how well that goes so it retails for 34 dollars by the way because i know i forgot to mention that part I wanted to get their primer because I remember my girl um, Stephanie or Bath Beauty here on YouTube talking about how she um, had how she really loved it and it was one of her old favorites that she still loves to use but um, it sold out everywhere. They didn't have an Ulta and they didn't have it as for because I was like oh well. Now I did buy this at Ulta even though it just launched on Sephora today. It launched on Ulta on Sunday so I went ahead and grabbed it so that way I could have it today when it launched so we could try it out today when it launched just in case it didn't hit Sephora in store the day it launched so. I got my cute little blushes here. I don't know if I really need to read the description on those, but I guess we can. It's here. We're here. Everyone's here. You know, let's, let's just read those and get all the descriptions out the way. Because once I start putting stuff on my face, y'all know I'm not going to think about reading the description anymore. So, let me see. Infallible power you love in a blush. Lightweight formula with buildable coverage applies smoothly and does not clog pores. 24 hour wear color, sorry, long wear color that is heat proof, waterproof, transfer proof, and humidity proof. We'll see about all that because it's quite hot here in Chicago. So I might just go outside and like drive to the store and come back just so we can try it out this humidity proof situation because I'm like, hmm, use to simple simply give a healthy look or to add contour and dimension to your complexion how is blush and contour dimension i feel like they just pulled this from the bronzer section because they in the same packaging i don't know brings a variety of skin tones to life so i mean they have some okay shades the shade rosewood actually looks more like a big 
uh my skin but better tone blush if y'all can't tell this is the shade rosewood right here don't that look like just my skin tone y'all so i'm like is this really my skin tone but better thing i feel like the shade i got from but first coffee is deeper than that and then the berry tone shade isn't even that dark in my first opinion like look at that that's not that dark for berry tone so i'm like i feel like this collection is kind of not geared towards people look like me because it's like a lot of shades don't look like they work for me and then these two right here i feel like they're awfully light as well so i feel like all the shades run where it's more light to medium and not necessarily for deep i feel like this one maybe and like the berry tone one but the other two i showed y'all i'm just kind of like mm. Anyway, let's get into this. So I'm going to put this underneath my eyes off with since it's supposed to be a brightener, not necessarily a concealer. Then I'm going to put on the um, lip bar foundation. This is the concealer I'm going to put on top. So I'll come back and put the concealer on top just so you can see how product goes over it and if it um, helps with the dark circles and whatnot. And then um, I'll come back and be supposed to put on the blushes and um, I'll give y'all some comparison blush swatches because I'm going to... Um, Swatch them against some blushes that are already in my collection. So let's get to this concealer, girl. I'm pretty sure I think y'all went already. I'm quite sure. Yeah, I'm just interested to see how this can work. Oh, I put on the um, Peace Out Primer from, um, what are those people called? Um, I think the brand is Peace Out. And I put on their um, pore filling primer or whatever. I'm not necessarily as crazy about it as I was when I first got it. It's okay compared to some other ones I have, but I feel like I have other ones that are better. So I don't know if I'm necessarily in love with it now. Okay, so what y'all thinking? I definitely feel like it's giving more brightness than underneath the eye that I already didn't do. So this is the eye y'all just saw me put underneath, and this is what I did. So, it, okay, it did something. It, it did something all right. And I didn't dip in it again to um get any extra product. I'm just pressing this on the nail. And I feel like it did a decent job. Okay. So let's go ahead and get underneath this other eye. I feel like it has a reddish orange undertone to it. Like a terracotta type vibes with if you will. To put underneath your eyes to give brightness. I feel like the one from um Becca is a little bit lighter. I'll try to give y'all comparison swatches of that tomorrow. Good night. Cause, you know, I forgot to bring it with me. Or oh, did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left that one at home and then I'll compare it to the one from um Flower Beauty. That one didn't really do anything though as far as I'm concerned. I was just like, y'all I feel like this would be great if you're somebody who wants to do a no makeup makeup situation because you can put on a skin tint, put this underneath the eyes to make sure the dark circles are covered because I think it did an excellent job when it came to that. But in all fairness, I did actually get sleep today. Like, Adrian Game Over graduated from 8th grade yesterday, y'all. Proud mama. So, um, I didn't have to get up early to take him to school today on this lovely Friday. So, I'm feeling like that's why I didn't need as much as I normally do. I feel like this has been a normal week that maybe my dad done a great job. I'm not going to front. I don't know. But because I did get some sleep, um, I feel like it actually did a really good job, though. That's what we're working with, girl. Like I said, I'm going to go off camera. I'll show you the stuff I'm going to use. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to put this concealer underneath the eyes. And then I'll come back and do some blush and... I guess we can swatch the lip glosses. Um, I'm not going to put any, I don't know if I'm going to put any of them on yet just because I don't have all the shades with me and I want to do like a lip swatch video of that alone. So I think I'll do those in another video, but I did want to show you all that I did finally get them. I had to wait forever for them, all of them to come to Amazon so I could order them, but I got them. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I got the foundation on it. As you can see, we're looking nice and dewy-like. Um, it matches my skin quite nicely, as you can see from my neck to my face. They look the same color. How about that? So I'm going to take this Dior concealer in the shade, I'm pretty sure it's 4WO Olive. Yeah, 4WO Olive. I'm going to put that underneath the eyes and highlight the face and whatnot. So, pretty sure I put my sponge in here. I'm just randomly bringing it on the cheeks to give me a cute little highlighty moment here. I haven't used this foundation in forever, so I was like, how's it going to work out? I don't know. I had to go see uh, the new Spider-Man movie with my son and his best friend last night because his best friend couldn't come to his graduation because his luncheon was the day of Adrian's graduation. So, he got out at 5.30, Adrian got out of his luncheon at 7 o'clock. And then, um, I went to go get him at, I think, like, 8-something. So, they had to go see the 9 o'clock movie. But they liked the um movies which I was glad because you know I had to go through all of making sure I got there them in time 
got there in time to make sure they got to see the movie. Whatever they missed some of the previews though, because we had to stand around and wait for food. Well, that's how crazy I'm looking right now. <laughs> so we had to, I had to wait for them to get the food. And I grabbed who I let them stand, go to the movie theater, so they didn't miss the previews or any of the movie. Cause we literally got to the theater like at nine o'clock. And I had to wait for them to make the French bread pieces because I didn't have time to take them to dinner, like I planned. So I took Adrian and both to breakfast, and then I took him and his best friend to the movies, and they just ate dinner at the movies. So I was like, okay, sign with me. Love me. So. I'm done with school until August the 10th when Adrian gave me the stars back. Which I feel like it's gonna fly because I feel like this year has just been flying. And I'm like, I looked up in my, like, um, my um, other, one of my other YouTuber friends, her name is Honey. She does a lot of story times. If you're interested in story times, you should definitely check them out. I think she has one going up at 5 30 today. Um, I'll, tr I'll try to bring them the link it down below. But yeah, so she was um, talking about how the year is seems like it's flying by i'm like girl who you telling i'm like i feel like we just started january and i looked up and it was like mother's day and i looked up again and it was like asian game over graduated eighth grade i'm like where's the time going like this is like the fastest year ever where is it going i feel like i'm gonna look up again and i'm gonna be talking to y'all about um my birthday giveaway or something like i just i don't know where the time is going but i'm just like um I feel like I'm not accomplishing as much as I want to in the time, so I'm not feeling it. Like, you know, I feel like I need to step it up. It's not like I don't do, like, a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I feel like I do a lot. I just feel like it's not moving as fast as I would like to, considering how much stuff that I actually do. So I'm just kind of like, you know, what is actually going on here? And why do I feel like... I'm doing so much and it's not um, moving as fast as I would like. I guess that's what like whole, my, the whole thought process is. Like, I feel like I've done a whole lot. And, okay, so this is what the under eyes are looking like. I feel like you don't see any dark circles. You just see brightness and then we brighten even more with the concealer I put on. So, you know, I'm here for it. It's a vibe. I took my foundation brush in the bathroom by accident. But that's okay. Whatever. It's fine. We're going to go ahead and set the under eyes real quick. So, let me just kind of set the under eyes real quick. Then I'm going to go off camera and set my face. And then I'll come back and matter, and I'll come back and do the blush. I was about to say, matter of fact, let me just go do this off camera too. But I'm like, we are here now. So, and I didn't bring a brush in here for my face. Even though I could just go ahead and set it with the um, airbrush. Flawless filter by Charles Tilbury. As Teresa did love to say, Charles Tilbury. I guess I could just set it with that so that way I don't have to get up because that's my whole thing. Like, I don't have to get up and then, like, stop the video just for that when I can, you know, just get through it real quick and go ahead and set the face and then put the blushes on. I have to go off camera, put bronze on, and then I'll come back to y'all and talk. And I might put on one of these lip glosses. We'll see. Just to leave, like, a sneak peek of how it looks on some of my skin tone. I don't know if anybody else has gotten them yet. None of the people that I watched out of my skin tone have gotten them yet. So I was like, let me go ahead and, you know this cute little moment in with these glasses since they're here we're here everyone's here but i did get some liquid lipsticks from um about face 94 from um walmart when i went to go drugstore makeup hunting which i um only found some about face stuff i didn't find these blushes that i ended up having to buy from um ulta and I didn't find the lipstick glosses but i think it's so weird it's like how are you a drugstore brand but i went to the drugstore and find any of your makeup but that's what you're known for, being a drugstore brand. But I had to order your drugstore makeup offline. I couldn't, like, go into a drugstore and pick it up. Like, to me, that is so crazy. How are you a drugstore brand? And I can't actually go in the drugstore and buy anything you sell. Please make it make sense. Because it makes absolutely none to me. Like, yeah, I'm going to go buy this drugstore makeup off the website. Because they don't sell the drugstore makeup in the store. What the hell? Child, the foolishness. Somebody tell me that they feel the same way too because I, I know it can't just be me just like out here like but you're a drugstore brand that I can't actually buy at the drugstore like I just I don't understand. And that's been blowing me for a while y'all. I've been feeling that way for a while. I'm like all these drugstore brands you can't actually buy at the drugstore. You have to buy it off or you have to buy it off like you know their website or you have to buy it off um Amazon or something like I can't buy the drugstore product at the drugstore but you're supposed to be a drugstore thing. 
The point of view is to be acceptable. If I got to order you online, just like all these other people, I might as well just pay a little bit more and buy it at Sephora where I can go in store and pick it up since you're making it clear that you don't want it to be accessible. I know a lot of people use Amazon and I'm assuming that's what they're banking on for people to buy their products from. But it's like, since I don't use Amazon, I'm just like, what, what is the purpose? Why? Why? Girl, why? Girl, just why? Ooh, y'all my whole, y'all the whole component came broke. No wonder it was open. Like, the little flat that's supposed to hold it in is broke. I just... What are we doing, Alta? Girl, what are you doing? Cause, cause mine showed up broke. What is this? I feel like I deserve a refund. Cause like, why, why, why is it broken when it gets to me? Anyway, so let me show you what blush I want to compare that one to. So that one I want to compare to, but first coffee from the um, Bare Minerals Gen Nude set that I got during 21 Days of Beauty was 50% off. I feel like the colors look really similar. Even though it's called Rosewood, which I think is weird because Rosewood shade from Dior, I guess is what I think of when I think of Rosewood. So I don't think of this shade as Rosewood. So to me, it's just weird. It's like my skin, but better type vibes. But I want to see how they look side by side. Okay, so this, yeah, they look pretty close. Y'all see? So this is the But First Coffee and this is the um, Rosewood shade from L'Oreal. So I feel like they look the same. So if you want an alternative to this blush, you can buy Rosewood from L'Oreal because they look really similar. Okay, let me try to close this back up, but since it's like broken, it's hard. Then it is broke nonsense. Um, I'm going to use one of the lighter shades just to see how they'll work on some of my skin tone, honestly. That, that's the whole reason for me wanting to use one. Like, is it going to work though? I'm, I'm just genuinely curious. Is it going to work? So I got the shade Confident Pink 10. And I want to see if it's, um, how well that one's going to work out since everybody's obsessed with these type, pink-ish type shades. But I feel like this one is so light from some of my skin tone that it's going to be, like, hard. Because look how light that is. Let me swatch it. It's funny because with face products, I don't mind swatching them. But it's like, when it comes to, like, oh, it's not as, um, light as I thought it was going to be. It's actually working out pretty well. Let's we'll swatch on the back of my hand and see how it looks on my face. And then I'll swatch the coral one. So I think I want to put coral on one side. It's called Fearless Coral 5, and then Confident Pink is 10, Rosewood is 20, and then Legacy Berry is 15. I feel like I don't even really need to swatch the berry shade, like the berry shade, I feel like we just know will work. Okay, so the coral one broke as well. Yeah, so it's broken away from the pan as well. Also, what are y'all doing? Honey, what are, what are y'all doing? So the pink one is still in there, and it looks like the berry one is still in there. So the um, other two, the two I was most excited by the ones that showed up broken i love a coral blush i don't know about y'all but i love me a coral blush oh yeah i'm definitely feeling the coral shade so i'm i actually think the pink will work for me pretty well in the coral so we're gonna start off with the um pink on one side and then the coral on the other side what do i do with that blush i know about the blush brush in here am i sitting on it i know about the brush in here y'all i know i ain't making it up well, leave it sitting oh well it's blush brushes and we'll just adjust. So I'm going to use Andrea Renee's blush brush on one side of my face. And then I use um, this brush that's supposed to be for contour on the other side, maybe. Okay. Matter of fact, I'll just use these two blush brushes. So I have one from Real Techniques, this one, and then one from Eco Tools. This one we're going to use for blush. So I'm going to start off with 05, the um, Fearless Coral shade, the one that broke out the pan. I'm going to start off with that one. Or is this the one that broke up the No, I'm sorry. We're going to start off with 10 Confident Pink. I'm going to use Confident Pink one time and then the Coral, start Fearless Coral on the other side. So, this is Confident Pink. I think it actually looks pretty nice. Please keep in mind, y'all know L'Oreal got these perfumey smelling fragrances. So, this has a very perfumey smell to it. But it actually looks pretty nice on the skin. I was not expecting it to look this nice and be this pigmented on some of my skin tone because of what shade it is but i feel like they picked a pretty universal shade of pink kind of like lady gaga did with her pink one i will be comparing all these blushes in a swatch video for shorts here on youtube so just stay tuned for that but that's confident pink and i was scared to get this one because i didn't think it was gonna work well but it's actually turning out quite nicely okay we're gonna get into this brush now and then we're gonna put on fearless coral so let's, let's hook up Miss Fearless Coral. She's real cute and nice or whatever. Hook it on up, hook it on up now. So. 
this one isn't short as pigment city as I was hoping it would, but it's still pretty nice. It's not like it's bad. It's just I don't know. I expected it to be more pigmented than pink one, and it's not, and that's weird to me. Like I feel like you clearly see the pink, and like with this one, it's a little more toned down, and which is not what I was expecting. At all let's dip into her some more. You know, she's here. I'm here. You're here. We're all here. You know, just dipping in there. Look, we can keep like. So so far, this will be working with girls. So confident pink. Fearless Coral. This is number five, Fearless Coral. Number 10, Confident Pink. I'm gonna go off camera, put some bronze on, spray my face, put some highlighter on, then I'll come back and we'll decide if I'm gonna put on one of these lip glosses or not. Cause I'm thinking I'll just put on one of the new About Face lips, liquid lipsticks instead. So I'll be right back. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, y'all, so this is what the face is working with. Now I have sprayed and set everything down, put a highlighter on and all that. I did swatch some blushes side by side, which I thought were interesting. So this is the Scooby Doo and, um, Glam Light Palette, the blush palette. This is the um, coral shade from it that's supposed to be for Velma. And this is the pink shade that's supposed to be for Daphne. And then these are the two blushes that are on my face right now. So this is Fearless Coral and this is Confident Pink. And I feel like they look pretty similar. So if you didn't want to necessarily, inv as you can see, this is more cool tone pink from the Daphne and Velma palette than the um, pink from L'Oreal. If you didn't want to spend that price point, I feel like it'd be good for you to go ahead and grab this um, palette right here y'all remember that i did in the scooby-doo video because i feel like these colors are actually pretty similar to the two colors that were most popular from that collection that had sold out immediately when i went to go buy it so if you don't end up getting your hands on them and they don't have the perfume smell by the way anyway if you all remember i said the l'oreal ones have a perfume smell the um scooby-doo collection doesn't have a perfume smell so if you just want these two shades i feel like they look really similar to the um ones from l'oreal but again like i said this one to me just seems like a more tr like bluish tone pink if you will and the other ones look pretty spot on so if that's what you wanted just go ahead and get the scoop do collection if it's still in stock i don't know if it's still in stock now so don't quote me i decided i wanted to go with the lip gloss gummy bear this one right here i feel like it go best with the eye look i'm gonna have to do because i have to do my yuka palette from natasha denona video tonight y'all see that before you see this full face that we're doing right now but i feel like these lip glosses might be pretty similar in tone i don't know we're going to swatch them and see how they go but they all have like a pinkish a frosty pinkish like tint to them so i brought a makeup removal wipe to take this off my hand so i can swatch all the shades on my hand and then we'll put gummy bear actually on the lips so i'm gonna start off with gummy bear and then i'm gonna swatch the old ones alongside of it so let me let my hand dry real quick who's texting me i don't know I mean, since they all clear, it's like, is it really going to look any different? I don't know. Probably not. But, you know, I just felt the need to share. So, I'm going to swatch the shade Reef now. Let's see how the color is. Oh, this is more pigmented of a gloss. Like, the um, limited edition one seems to be more sheer. The shade Reef is giving more um, pigment. So, if you like a more pigmented gloss, I feel like you'll like the original ones better. And then I have the shade Opal, number 12. It has, like, literally sparkles in it. It's trying to be more like a Fenty Gloss Bomb, if you will. But it's more sheer, so it might be closer to the um, gummy bear one than you think. The gummy bear one, though, has a little bit of like a frosty pink tint to it, if you will. So, if you see any difference in the swatches on my hand, girl, I barely do. Other than this one right here, which is Reef, which is more pigmented gloss. This is gummy bear, the new one they just came out with. And then this is the opal shade. So, the opal has glitter in it. The gummy bear has like that much of a pigment when it comes to the gloss and then reef is the most pigmented of all three glosses so just something to keep in mind i thought they looked similar so i was like let me go ahead and share it real quick so let's put on the shade gummy bear now one of the limited edition ones i'm gonna do a whole swatch video with all of them so just stay tuned for that if anyone cares about that but we just put a gummy bear on for today just like i show you one on camera since it's one of the new things i got and i showed y'all that i had i figured i might as well use one I don't feel like it's really doing as much as anything, so. As far as pigmentation going, y'all know I like a pigmented gloss, so. It's just kind of like a meh for me. With the color, I thought it was going to be one of the pigment sweet ones, but it is not. But I guess that's okay. Especially since I kind of have a choice in there. Oh! Okay. So it's kind of like that your lips are better, like, vibe, if you will. And these are only $7.49, so if you want a, your lips a bit better vibe with a good hydrating formula to it then i guess this is the gloss for you and they have a whole bunch of colors to choose from now the new ones you can't find in store anyway i know this supposed to be a walmart the walmart but by my house didn't have them and then i went to like another walmart and they didn't have them either so i don't know what walmart's they're at but like all the ones around me they are not there so 
this is what we're working with. Now that this face is fully done, I have sprayed it down and I put the lip gloss on with you. So I'll come back and check in later toward the end of the night and we can find out how this went. Now I did start this wear this off kind of late. Let me see what that means. It is six o'clock. So um I'll try to come back to talk to you around like twelve. I put this makeup on though probably like around five, five thirty. So I'll probably come talk to y'all at like 12 o'clock and that'll be close to the eight hour mark so i feel like that should suffice i'll be right back later okay girl okay so i'm back y'all it's like pretty much 3 a.m um i woke up at like 11 something i fell asleep while watching the illuminati she was doing something about tyson chicken i don't know i like watching her corporate uh cast get a deep dive videos or whatever so uh, i was watching that then i fell asleep and i woke up at like 11 something so i filmed like two or three of the videos just to make sure i got the weird amount of weird testing that i needed because y'all remember i put it on like five or six o'clock so i'd have to have it on to like 12 or one o'clock so i think almost three will suffice anyway let's look at this face and see how she's working so i feel like the other eyes still look amazing and really nice um i'm definitely feeling those i'll have to try it with different concealers but i'm really impressed with the brightener i think it gave a a good lightness so i like the fact it's a little bit deeper than some of the other ones i've been using in the past looks more skin like and more of my skin color i do want to get the medium deep shade though just to see how that works out so during a, the next Sephora sale i'll probably pick it up or if i can get a 20 percent off coupon at um ulta i'll before the Sephora sale hits i'll go ahead and pick it up so they've been doing a lot of 10 and 15 percent off coupons like i think i got 15 percent off this when i initially bought it because they had um a 15% off coupon so they've been doing a lot of coupons a lot of brands will give you a lot of deals lately so hopefully I can get another shade and see that works because I feel like this would be good for summer but it's like I'm thinking winter time when I get a little bit lighter I'll want a little bit of a lighter shade but in all fairness it's not like I don't have three other ones so do I really need it it's just so far I'm liking it enough to where I would consider buying it so that should tell you how I feel about that um with the blushes I actually feel like they turned out pretty well like I feel like you can see both of them on both sides still I still feel like the pink is more prominent which I was shocked about because I thought the core one would work better with my skin tone but it's blending it a little bit better than the pink is which is I feel like why you can't see as well but I feel like they both lasted a good amount of time and I am thoroughly impressed and those are pretty much all the new things we tried so there's not too much else to talk about going on with the face I'm still having this new lipstick from um what is it um scooby-doo and um glam light so this is the velma lipstick with the matching lip gloss i put that on after i took off the um sorry after i ate off the gummy bear one because when i got done filming i fell asleep then i ate again before i started filming more videos so this is a new lip but i think everything turned out really nice i am quite impressed with it um i'm wondering um how this blush will last on top of a cream blush so i'm gonna try it on top of pretty pink Sorry, Perfect Pink from um, Makeup by Mario and see if it'll last a little bit longer and be a little more pigmented at the end of the day with that base underneath because the oil won't be breaking into it as much because it'll be breaking into the cream blush underneath. So, um, yeah, those are pretty much all my thoughts, though. The lip gloss lasted the amount of time I expected it to. It is a lip gloss. It's not a, like, lipstick, so I didn't expect it, the formula to last that long. But it felt nice and comfortable on the lip. It felt like the standard formula of the original formula. It's not like they had to alter the formula in order to make certain colors. Like, I know sometimes they have to do with products, so I figured I should talk about that, too. But those are all the things I had to talk about as far as what's going on with the face. I'm really loving the under eye thing and I have to see how well it works out. I wanna compare it to the Becca one and see if it'll last longer than that one because since that one seems like a lighter textured weighted formula and it has more brightness to it, I'm wondering if it um they're gonna be the same or if they're gonna be different. But it's definitely giving the color of the Rare Beauty one and the tube that she has that I really like. It just feels like it has a like thicker consistency to it but it blends out really easily and smoothly and nicely so i'm here for it if you like pot correctors i feel like it'll be one that you'll like and if you're mad that it took becca forever to come up with your shade then you might want to get the nars one because at least they started out with my shade like how many years did it take becca left and smash my head to bring it out that's how long it took for it to happen do with that information what you will but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds if you all remember at the beginning of the video or maybe i didn't tell y'all in this video i don't remember because i don't think i had on an eye look so i i swore i told y'all that i was using the yucca palette so this is the look i came up with with the new natasha the Danone yucca palette you all saw that video um saturday i don't know when you're gonna see this one i'm hoping you see it sunday or monday since this nars corrector is a newer product i want to make sure you can see it in a timely fashion because it literally came out friday and i'm gonna try to have this up sunday so that way you can hook it on up and buy it from Sephora if you're interested in want to see it on someone your skin tone i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye